Hello, my name is Danny B, and today we are going to build a Chaos Devastation class cruiser. I'm super excited to build this. This is my first ship I've ever built for BFG. I'm super excited to play, and I'm super excited to get this thing on the field. So I chose this ship just because it's the jack of all trades. It has ordnance, it has lance batteries, and it has weapon batteries. It does everything. It does it for a reasonable cost, and it just brings such a presence to the field from everything that I've read in the forums. So let's dive right into the assembly. You're going to need a hole. Uh, you see here the top piece and the bottom piece of the hole. Just to spare you some time, I went ahead and cleaned up all the pieces and, and filed down all this, the sprues and whatnot. So you're going to need two launch bays. Notice the left and the right are not the same. They have a, a special orientation. You're going to need the lance battery frame pieces as well as two turrets. Now, the lance battery turrets, I, I picked the ones that have three barrels going across horizontally just because that's what the artwork shows and I wanted to kind of stay a bit true to that. You're also going to need the, the specific bridge shown and at least one antenna. I picked two antennas which is a little bit of a deviation and you'll see why. So I went ahead and swapped that top hole piece just because I, I had kind, kind of gotten excited before I started the video and, and started building one and I just wanted to recycle that frame and use it. So you want to dry, dry fit the top and the bottom hole together. Do not glue them together. You're going to benefit later on when you need to take it apart so that you can paint it and be able to access all those individual details. So now that we have both pieces of the hole together, we're going to install the bays and the batteries onto the frame. Now I opted not to install magnets. I kind of did some experimentation with them before this video and it was a little bit difficult to get the magnets to align and fit flush without making any gap between the carrier bay and the hull. Um, with some work and a drill bit it's very doable. Um, I chose to just glue everything in place just for ease. So at this point I've installed both of the launch bays in the proper orientation. I've installed the lance battery hole pieces that cover up uh, the different types of lance batteries. And now I'm installing the command bridge. So there are two options for the command bridge. To my understanding, neither one of them makes a difference which one you use. It doesn't affect anything. Uh, I chose this bridge because that's kind of what the artwork shows. So you may have noticed I cut one of the antenna pieces in half. That's for later on just because I want to fill both of the holes on the top of the hole. I'm going to fill one with the entire antenna piece and the second one I'm going to fill with a half antenna piece to kind of give it a neat little effect. That's a slight deviation from the artwork. In the artwork there's only one antenna. Uh, I just didn't want to see that extra hole on the top of the frame. So at this point I've installed one of the Lance turrets. I specifically chose the one with the three barrels going horizontally. You can feel free to pick any of the ones that you like in the sprue. This is just the one that kind of represents what the artwork has. So the second turret, I'm, it's going to go on a little bit smoother because the guide pin on the bottom didn't break like the other one. Now one thing to note, I angled my turrets slightly forward it seems the standard amongst the community that I've seen is coming out exactly perpendicular to the hull of the ship, so basically a right angle. There's really no difference. It's all aesthetics, so do whatever you want, whatever looks cool to you. I, I like the forward position because the ships generally are charging at each other and, and, and just shooting in that kind of forward direction. 
So we're going to finish up by installing the antennas. Now, normally only the large antenna is installed and the other one is left off and the gap is probably filled with green stuff, I would imagine. That would keep you close to the artwork. I kind of like the look of the two antennas. It kind of gives it a, a little extra flair. So at this point, we have finish gluing all the pieces together. The only thing left to do is to put the stand together, which is pretty self-explanatory. It doesn't really need to be shown. So I'm just giving you a little visual of what the ship looks like in its finished state. Uh, so the next step would be to get her painted up in Alpha Legion colors, of course, and get her onto the tabletop. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Next time we will be building a Carnage class cruiser. All right.